a warm welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here please subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content my name is kate and i do videos related to um business ideas i do lifestyle and a bit of single mom diary because i'm a single parent and also another thing that i always come back to uh maybe to uh, showcase on my channel are um the struggles that i've had with my condition because i've been having a condition with my lungs or the chest for a very long period of time i can't remember a day that i stayed like this the way i'm seated right now without an inhaler right now i am i will tell you why so uh yesterday i did a video there is a previous video before this one that um i did because i was in distress i was sick i was fed up i was tired because of um uh, just going to hospital and just getting medication i come check the medication i finish the medication and then i'm back to the the sickness again so it had reached a point where i got so tired and I remember that yesterday I was even like disputing in my brain, should I go to a clinic or go to Kenyatta National Hospital to check if I'm going to get a specialist. So um, before I left my house, I thought of uh, if I go to a clinic outside here, they're just going to tell me, ah, Kate, uh, we are going to do ABCD, the normal way they do every day. And I wanted somebody who will do it differently this time round. And I was ready to pay because I was avoiding to go to a specialist because it is a bit expensive. If you don't have any cash, you cannot go to a specialist because most of the time for you to see a specialist, you're supposed to go to their clinics private clinics and um when i get got out of my house yesterday i was actually ready to pay anything in it had reached a point where i'm ready to pay i'm ready to pay as long as i get i get better so long story short um before i even go straight to what happened in kenyatta national hospital there are some things that i did today in the morning just a day after visiting kenyatta, kenyatta national hospital Things that I wouldn't do on a normal day are things that I have already done. So let me show what I'm talking about. So I have done laundry, as you can see. I have done a lot of laundry, all this. This is something that I always do with an inhaler placed somewhere here. But today, I've not used it. And then I have like scrubbed this toilet for the first time in a lot of, of days because every time I, I, I bend to scrub this toilet, I will start like panting, panting, panting. I've like scrubbed this room. I've done a lot of cleaning today. Something that I always thought I'm not able to do. I've done cleaning in my kitchen something that i always like take time as in i've done the three things simultaneously one following the other and i feel like this to me is total miracle this is a total miracle so let me explain what happened so this is what happened i just decided to go to the specialist and the reason why i never used to go to the specialist um, is because we have this mentality that going to a specialist is a bit expensive and um, I can say that it is yes, you need money. <coughs> you need money to go uh, see a specialist and definitely um, you have to like make sure that you prepare yourself to pay some money because uh, definitely they are going to carry out tests on you and um, there are a lot of things that will happen between the treatments that require financial abilities so this is a success story i went to kenyatta national hospital as a person who was done with medications i had all the sorts of medications i had inhalers i had the ventolin inhaler i was taking a lot of antibiotics i've taken a lot of antihistamines i've taken a lot of um, steroids name it so when i went there i was at a point where i needed now the final solution because i've reached a point where i don't want any more medicines that i take it's like you're taking food so um i was in a position where i was done so i got to this person this doctor uh, she examined me and, and uh, after examinations i was given medicine and um i'm telling you for a fact that this is the first time in many many years that i saw myself sleeping this is the first time in very very many years that i slept without waking up 
in the wee hours of the night to use my inhaler. To me, that is everything. To me, good health is everything. To me, good health is paramount. Yeah, and the fact that I did not even go with the inhaler in bed, that to me is everything. Meaning that I slept like any other normal person. I slept like any other normal person that does not have issues with their chest. When I went to Kenyatta National Hospital, I was not only treated, but I learned a lot of things about my body. I learned a lot of things. I learned to accept, number one, for you to start healing, accept that you are sick, accept that, they are that your lungs are not, uh, they are not functioning at normal, accepting that my lungs have an issue and there is a solution to that that can make me live like a normal person is something that I learned yesterday. Not wanting to, to, to do shortcuts. So uh, the first thing that happened is I learned a lot about my lungs. I learned a lot about how my lungs work. And um, I was able to understand what happens in the respiratory system. So having understood what is ailing you, even if you have other conditions, and also I want to address people that are asthmatic. If you're asthmatic, or if you have bronchitis, or if you have any other lung condition, it is okay to use an inhaler in public. That is number one. That is something that I used to like, I used to like feel uncomfortable. And that is medication like any other. Some people will take a tablet of a headache or maramoja and swallow in the matatu. Nobody will go, will look at them. Why are you afraid to use an inhaler in public? It is not a crime. You're not doing criminal activities by using an inhaler. And it's a high time that people learn to accept that things are normal things. This is something that is happening in the society. A lot of people are dying silently because of ignorance. Because I went to seek medication uh, from a specialist, that is why at this particular time, since the time I landed in Kenyatta, up to this particular time, my chest is not wheezing, I am not panting, I've done a lot of house chores as I have shown you, and my lungs are stable. Um, I'm so excited that I took a decision to go to Kenyatta National Hospital. I can say for a fact that that is the wisest decision I have done in 2023. And um, I'm happy that I did that decision. It is a bit expensive to get treated by a specialist, but it is worth every shilling. It is worth it. I can't regret. There is nothing good like a good night's sleep. It is everything. Why should you suffer in silence? So if you're out there and you have asthmatic conditions or you have conditions with your lungs or you also have any chronic diseases that you don't know the solution for talk to me talk to me talk to me because i'm in a position to help you get the best best medications in kenyatta national hospital i can link you with people that are going to sort the conditions that you're suffering from don't get afraid of a person will see your comment. I will also leave my number here. You can WhatsApp me if you need personalized, specialized care that will change your life forever. Right now, I will go for checkup maybe after two or three weeks and I will gladly go for that checkup because I'm on the road to recovery after years of pain, of bad medication, of weird injections every time you get injected everywhere so join me in this journey to recovery if you are ailing from any other conditions you not only have to have asthma but if you have asthmatic conditions breathing conditions those are the people I'm addressing you don't have to suffer in silence let me know on the comment section what is your experience and if you want to seek lasting lasting solution Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.